Hey there, hope you're doing well. And if you're watching this, maybe you want to get into a very, very calm sort of state. And immense calm mental state. And be in peace and start your day off in a very, very positive, low-key, relaxing day. Or maybe you're in the middle of the day and you're like, oh, everything's going really crazy and really fast and you just want to slow it down. Or maybe it's at the end of the day where you want to calm down as well before you go to bed and calm your mind and your brain down. So, I like using this instrument. It's called the hong drum, and it's basically like a melodic bongo, right? It's kind of like a xylophone with a bongo, because you can play rhythms on it, but it's got tones. So it's like a steel drum, but it's not as pingy or loud or abrasive as like a steel drum would be, like you would hear from Jamaica, like reggae music. It's an Asian instrument, and so we're just going to start off with a couple different rhythms I think you might enjoy. So, that's just one sound. It almost sounds like a gong or like a big chime, like gong, almost like a church bell. It kind of just rings out. All right, you might use this to get relaxed. All right, and so I'm going to get it a little faster now. Playing two notes. So I really like this a lot because there's no wrong notes here. You can play them in any order. I found some cool rhythms that I like to play in melodies, and so you could really just play one note over and over again, like softer. You could play it with the other side. That gets a little more loud, like you're almost hitting a glass bottle. But it does have tones to it, which is cool. Uh, so let's try this now with the mallets on this side, both hands, and we're gonna go around the circle. I like to call this around the horn on here. So the cuts are kind of like that on it. It's like little, almost like little balloon shaped cuts on the top of the hung drum. And they all have different tones, different sounds. And so we're just going to go one by one all the way around a couple times now, okay? So that's all the way around. We're going to do it again. One, two, three. notes. Now we're going to do the reverse side. So we're going to start here and go same thing again. Pretty nice. So let's try now with two two chords, two notes. All right, so we're going to try here with top, and then next to it, and then this one, and then these. So now we're going to do two noted chords like this. different kinds of sounds that you can get from here and and different patterns that you could play so now we're going to go up half of it and then back half of it so it's going to be now the other side now A little bit of a different sound. Two more times with it. Now let's do it two times each. Now back to the other side. Now 
Nice, last one. And I like to end on the two big ones on each side, on each end right here. I like to end on these two because they're the biggest ones and they have a very low sort of nice sound. So just some different things, right? Here's another rhythm that I like to play where I kind of just go crazy real fast on it. So try, try this with me. Super fun, right? So now we're going to turn it around and play it, not with the mallets, but with the stick side. Just a little bit, because it does get kind of loud. And you can play it softer. too crazy with that one because that one can get really loud really quickly. All right, so now let's try playing it really softly. So you can barely hear it. I like this a lot too because it talks, this is more about control over your muscles and your fingers and your hands. All right, just really nice and slow and soft. What about really loud? Like play a, a, a rhythm that I actually came up with before. All of these I'm doing impromptu on the spot, which means I'm improvising. So this one, I've actually...
really cool. So it's like dun 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 dun. That's a cool little melody that you could put in there with a, basically a, a bass rhythm of that going on the entire time. Pretty fun, right? There's a lot of really cool things with this. I've come up with a lot of neat riffs. Um, that one was one that I've come up with a while ago. The other ones were just sort of improv on the spot. What's really cool is you have a lot of experimentation with it. So I'm going to play the six higher pitched ones. One, two, three here, and then one, two, three on the bottom, leaving out the two big ones. So I'm just going to play the high pitched ones. Just that. And a combination. Really nice, right? So we're gonna do one last one here, and this one is just gonna be sort of a really fun, relaxed one, slow one. I'm gonna use all of them here, all of the little knobs that are on there, the little cuts that are on there. sort of playing ones that are diagonal of one another. That's what I'm doing in a reverse order. So it's low, high, high to the right, high to the left, center to the right, center to the left, right to the bottom, left to the bottom. And then it's bottom, top, right, top, left, top, center, right, left, center, right, bottom, Right, and then it's left, bottom, so it's... If you hit just the top of it, it doesn't really have a note at all. It's almost like a, hitting like a little pot or pan. Very nice. Good stuff on the hang drum today. I know it's something a little different. It's not like we're playing songs on guitar, playing them on the piano, using a bunch of other fun instruments like kazoos, harmonicas, foot tambourines, maracas, egg shakers, bongos, drumsticks, right? electric guitars, basses, ukuleles. But what's fun is that you can do a lot of cool sounds with this. And it's pretty relaxing. And you get to practice your rhythm with some fun tones. So it's combining both sort of like string like the string instrument section with a percussion instrument in one. So pretty neat. Good stuff. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this. It's spelt like hang, like you're hanging out, like H-A-N-G, but it's pronounced hang and it's from Asia. So it's really cool. We really enjoy this a lot. We might be using this in sessions moving forward on occasion, either to start somewhere in the middle or at the end, or maybe we use it in all three spots. We start off a little bit with this, get into a nice space, play some calming songs, some light songs on acoustic guitar or piano, 
have a little intermission in the middle with the hong drum, and then end with a really nice one after we do some upbeat stuff. Pretty cool. I like it. Double thumbs up. Peace. A-OK. -okay. Rock and roll. Cowabunga. Nice stuff.